Are you an important enough mission for yourself? Are you an important enough priority in your own life? Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence, in leaving behind the, the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past, and in rising victorious in your true design life. You get to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, you get to live a love-drenched life if you will claim it, if you will define what that looks like for you and claim it. But this is the thing, for the most part, a lot of people in this community are spending a heck of a lot of time making a difference to other people in their world, whereas they're ignoring their own dreams, their own visions, their own whatever. And they might, you might even be telling yourself that um, this is part of my vision. But when did you actually take the time to really uncover what you wanted? When last did you give yourself permission to actually just want what you want and to start taking steps towards it? You make you know everybody else's business more than you know your own. A lot of people are actually, and this might be you, are actually scared of paying attention to their inner world, listening to their own thoughts, listening to what they're saying about themselves. And then there's the, the stream of spiritual people who are busy forever fixing something about themselves. They're never quite good enough. They're never quite perfect enough. They're never quite capable enough. They're never confident enough. They're never, they're never, never, never. And so forever they're trying to prove themselves, trying to earn the ability, the, 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 the right to prosper, trying to fix everything as though that's the point of life. It's not the point of life isn't to become super perfect. No. Although sometimes religion even tells you that that's the point. That you just, you're just you here to prepare for some next life where, I don't know, you, you, you just get to worship forever, basically. No, you're here to live life here, to experience life here on this planet. You didn't come here by mistake. You didn't come here to escape to the next life. So are you making yourself enough of a priority in your own life? Are you loving yourself enough to go after your own dreams instead of continually putting every single other person first? A lot of us were brought up on songs like J-O-Y, J-O-Y, this is what it means. Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. And so, and so you've learned to put yourself last all the time. All the time. And in fact, any thought that you should make yourself a priority in your own life is taken with Oh, that's greedy and selfish. Only selfish people think that way. I have to put myself down. And you continually put yourself down. Continually put everybody else first. Continually. You know, I'll tell you this even right now. You and the divine are one. You don't need to, oh, this is God here first. And then other people here. And then there's me. No. That, no. We're all one. There's no demarcations like that. The divine would love to do life with you through you, as you, but only if you are willing to open up to who you are. Do you know who you are? You're told how to think by so many different people, places. When last did you really think stuff through, especially in these, this, this day and age where there's so much fear around the place? There's all kinds of stories and opinions being thrown at you all the time. Are you realizing what you're taking on. When last did you take the time to really actually listen to yourself? Figure out what you want. Figure out who you are. Again, are you, in, are you an important enough mission to yourself? They told you how life is supposed to look and you just keep going along with it. You stay in a job that is just so, so you know, so, so, you know, maybe they promote you. Maybe they don't. Maybe they give you an increase in salary. Maybe they give you nothing. Maybe, you know, and it's just, you, you're not, you, you think you have no choice. You think you have no choice. But the reason why it feels like you have no choice is because you're not giving yourself a choice. You're telling yourself that this is what I have to do in order to take care of my responsibilities and take care of the people around me. What of you? What of you? 
And the crazy thing is sometimes the people around you are so fed up of this, your sacrificial ways. <laughs> Basically, because then you resent them for not being what you think they should be because of all the stuff you're giving them. Honey, take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for the life that you're creating because you are the one creating it. The divine loves you, whatever you do. So if you choose not to create a free, financially abundant, fulfilled life, you don't have to. You can live whatever kind of crazy life you choose to live and you will be supported in it. Or you can get to know who you are. You can make yourself a priority in your own life. You deserve your own you know, attention and affection. Awaken. The thing about doing all of this stuff where you put yourself last all the time is that generally your confidence takes a hit. When you are allowing people outside of you to define who you are, your confidence takes a hit. Are you ready to regain that inner knowing, that self-assurance? that you are worthy of every good thing in life. Get the book, The Deliberate Millionaire's Confidence Book. Get on the path to peace and plenty. For reals, for reals, man. <laughs> Get on the path to peace and plenty. Start remembering who you are, rediscovering who you are. Use the, the simple exercises in the book to start growing, start expanding, to start going deeper within yourself and in doing that you open up to so much more prosperity in all areas of your life what the, what you're doing is limiting you so try a different way okay there'll be a link around this video for where you can get the book go and get the book okay until the next time share this video with somebody else and have a great amazing day whatever you're doing much amazing love bye